Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is MSA for those of you who are new. So today I decided to do a creative video showing you how to create, I'm just gonna stand up, this Zimmerman inspired top. I love doing um, my own creative takes on some of the styles I see on the runway and I just think it's a cool way to give your clothes a more individual edge. I'll throw up a picture of the um, collection that inspired me. It was the Zimmerman, I think it was a 2020 resort collection. I just love the detailing of the bows going down the front so I thought that was a really, it'd be a really cool project. So stay tuned if you want to learn how I created this top and don't forget to subscribe, like, drop me a comment down below, and also share this video with somebody else who you think would appreciate it. All right, let's get started. So you will need a basic top. I just bought a simple tank top from Primark or Primani if you're from the UK. I chose to pick a very cheap top because I didn't want to screw this up because it was my first time doing it. I did buy two tops because it's really helpful to have a second um, top for fabric to create all the extra bows, but you can use contrasting fabric if you prefer. You will need to cut out two rectangles. I put the measurements there. I do apologize for how wonky my rectangles were. It's just that it was a polyester fabric, so it just was difficult to keep it still while I was cutting, but it didn't make a difference to the final product anyway, so it was fine. So you want to fold the large rectangle in half lengthways and put the right side on the inside because we're going to flip this over later and then secure it with some dressmaking pins and I like to do this perpendicular to the direction I'm going to sew in and it just stops me from having to tack first so just sew about half an inch from that top edge to secure it and once that's done attach a little safety pin to one end and Feed the safety pin back through the tube we've created and that just makes it easier to turn it the right side out. And once that's done, just remove the safety pin. And then just use an iron to press it just so that you have nice crisp edges. And then fold the raw edges towards the center and this creates the body of the bow. Because I was making several bows, I wanted all of them to be roughly the same size. So I put it against a ruler just to help and it just ensures the final product looks really good. I just adjust it as needed. And you wanna make sure those edges are overlapping. Then I just used a needle and thread, a simple running stitch to bring all the layers together. So I pulled the thread through and then wrapped it around the center of the rectangle a few times and that's what creates the body of the bow. And then I just secured it with a few knots on the back. And then I got that small rectangle we cut out earlier, folded it in half lengthways and put that across the center of the bow. I flipped it over. I did have excess fabric so I just trimmed that off and then I just folded the the rough edge downwards and then secured it with a few knots and I'm just cutting off the extra thread there and that's your bow done so I created five bows but create as many as you like it just depends on the size of the top now this is a slightly tricky bit and that is positioning all the bows down the center of your top I would recommend you use Taylor's chalk and a ruler or some a tape measure I didn't show that on camera but it can take a few minutes and it's worth it because you want it to look good at the end so you can secure the bows with a needle and thread but I use fabric glue because I was running out of time and you should get something that looks like this So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something and most importantly, I hope that you are inspired to continue to push your creativity and to give your clothes a unique edge. I really enjoyed making this and um, I look forward to hearing your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.